So I'm now going to be going through um, a four starch from the knees. This one is more for the beginner and intermediate students. If you've never done um, a standing four starch, this is a really good place to start. If you are advanced, you can 100% just skip this one and go to the standing four starch. So with um, a four starch from the knees, you really want to think lift up the whole time. You don't want to think sink down and just slide into it. So I'm going to be going with my left leg. Um, and so that means that I'm going to bring my right arm up as I go. So you're just bringing it up to that fifth and you're going to lean away from the leg that you are using. So let's just practice just doing the arms for now and with that lean. So we lift the arm up, we lean to the opposite direction really feel like you're leaning and back let's go to the other side lifting up we lean to the opposite direction and back now the legs what you're going to do so I'm going to bring up my left foot so you rise up onto both knees your left foot comes through I'm just going to scooch back a bit so you can see so you rise up on your knees then your left foot is going to come through you're going to scoop it in towards yourself and then out now here is the most important part you don't want to go just straight down onto your knee like so this is where the counterbalance with pulling away comes in so you do go from the top of your foot and then down to the side of your shin so from here we go bring that leg through we lean as soon as you lean you start going to the side of the leg I'll just show you sideways just so you can see what my legs are doing. So I lift up, really engage that core, lifting the arm up as we bring the leg through. Now here, see how my leg isn't close under, under me? I feel like I'm taking a step with it. And we lean and going down and around. Now, let's try that to the other side. I'll do it facing you and then I'll do it facing this side. So this time I bring the left arm up my right leg comes through, I lean all the way to the left as I go down and see I'm not like banging my knee on the ground, I'm just softly lowering down. Now I do it to the side, now I lift up, left arm up, right leg forward, I lean to the left and down. Remember to always catch yourself if you need, okay? Um, have those hands ready to just make sure you catch yourself. So that is a forced arch from your knees. Same thing, please rewind it back if you need to go through any small details. Um, also, a great time to practice it on carpet if you have any, or a yoga mat, anything that's a little bit softer than just a wooden floor. Um, and same thing, don't stress out if you can't get it just yet. A forced arch does take a little bit of training to get that confidence as well. Um, we will be going over these in the studio when we get back. So I'm now going to go through a four starch from standing. So um, when you're doing when you're doing a four starch from standing, our main thing is, is that you always have the weight on the back leg. You don't want to have too much weight on that front leg. Obviously, you will have some because you're going down onto that leg, but you want to take uh, most of it with that back leg. Um, as you go, when you bring your arms up, the same thing as a floor um, four starch. You're always leaning opposite so you want to counter the weight if you go down with your weight forward you're really going to hurt that front leg um, so you really want to lean back as you go um, I will do this one to the side to start off with just so you can see the placement of the legs as you go so you always start with a step back I'm going to take a step back on my right and I'm starting with my left leg so you just take a step back on your right lift the arms up you go into what I call like a little attitude position with my toes just touching the ground, check yourself, see if you can hold, and then keep leaning back. And then as you go, you think lifting up, the chest up to the ceiling, you go down and all the way down to the ground. Same thing with a four, um, four starch, always land on the side of the shin, never ever land on top of the knee. This one does take a little bit of time to get used to. So if you want a good training step, you can go, Step, lift up just to get that first prep and then pop the hands down and a little jump down as you go. So I'm going to do it from the front just so that you can see where the foot is placed to the front. So we take a step back, the arms come up, 
We go up to the ceiling and drop down. Now, let's try the other side. I'll do it facing the side. So, take a step back on the left. Now, my right foot is coming up into that small attitude position. Our opposite leg is bent. We're looking up to the ceiling as we go down and drop down. Um, I forgot to say this for the other side, but don't worry if your um, supporting foot, the heel pops up. It all depends on the flexibility of your Achilles, so don't worry if that foot pops up if you need to stabilize yourself more. I always do that. So, I'll do a face in the front now. So, take a step back on your left, lifting the arms up, going all the way down as we look up to the ceiling. Cool. So, that is a four side from standing. Same thing, please rewind it back if you need to go through any steps. 